Ladies and gentlemen, this is K2, Freewell's new magnetic filter system. And that's exactly what we're gonna be talking about today. So buckle up. And everywhere I go is the wrong place to be. I think I should go home, but I don't know where it is. Bring me back to me. Bring me back to me. Bring me back to me. It's making me feel so weak. Before we start the video, I just want to let you know a couple of things. So first of all, this video is not sponsored. They're not paying me to say this. They did send the filters to us and they did pay the money for us to create marketing material for them, which they can later use for their campaigns, uh, website, uh, social media and stuff like that. But they did not ask me to make a YouTube video. So this is no bullshit. This is just my opinion, what I honestly think about this filter. And the second thing is, why am I even making a review? I thought you guys don't make reviews anymore. There are specific products that we ourselves enjoy very much. If we see ourselves using it in commercials like this product, because I have already used it in commercials, I'm just gonna share the word out there. There are probably many people who will be interested in this product as well. And it's a fantastic product. So yeah, why not share the good news? Anyway, without any further ado, let's get straight to business. So what is K2? K2 is Freewell's new magnetic filter system that offers variable ND filters from 1 to 5 stops, 6 to 9, as well as some effects filters like the Snow Mist filter, Golden Streak, Gradual Neutral Density filter, and some other ones I don't even know. <laughs> the pricing is a little bit sketchy. So the early bird price is $350, which in my opinion is a really good deal. After that early bird period ends, it's gonna cost 500 bucks, which I don't know if I would pay 500 bucks for this, but 350 is a very good deal. If you want this filter system, grab it now. By the way, I did not test this on one lens. I tested uh, this whole system on multiple lenses, such as Sony 85 mm prime lens, Sony 35 mm prime lens, the Sura anamorphic lenses even, as well as the Tamron zoom lenses. So yeah, you will see footage from all sorts of lenses. Installing the whole system is just as easy as it gets. So all you gotta do is just select your step down ring, screw it on, put the system on, just put in the VND base, put in the, let's say, variable ND filter one to five stops. And if you're feeling cute enough, you can immediately pop in the snow mist filter. And that's it, you're good to go. And that's basically it about the technical parts of this video. So now I'm just gonna be telling you my honest opinion on using the system, what I like, what I don't like, and yeah, my favorite features. So let's start with the thing that I appreciate the most. And it's the fact that this variable ND filter goes from one to five stops. The reason why I really like this is because sometimes with the Sony S7S III, if you're shooting S-Log3 and uh, with 12,800 ISO, it can be a little bit too much, especially in blue hour or even nighttime. Sometimes the highlights are a little bit too overexposed. So having the ability to just block one step of light did save me a lot of times and even in this shoot when I was shooting with the anamorphic lenses, the one stop saved me from uh, overexposing the highlights, which is very nice. The second thing is probably the reason why you are paying so much money for this. It's because it's true color. So for the last year, this has been my favorite ND filter so far. This is the Nissi True Color 1-5 to stop ND filter. It's absolutely amazing and it's been on my lens 24-7. True color basically means that you're not gonna get any weird colors or shifts in your image. Your skin tones are gonna look exactly the same as they would if you didn't have the filter on, which is absolutely amazing. And here's a side-by-side -side comparison with and without the filter. And if you're not zooming in, you can't really tell the difference because the contrast stays the same, it doesn't lose any sharpness and the colors look the same. If you're pixel peeping, yes, you can see that it's a little bit warmer in most situations and that it's maybe not as sharp as without the filter, but I mean, that's to be expected. I haven't yet tested out a filter that doesn't alter the temperature or the sharpness even by 1%. Yeah, if you're pixel peeping, you're gonna notice a little bit of a difference, but if you don't do that, it's gonna look the same. If you're a beginner, 
I don't think that's something you should be concentrating on. You can easily grab a good ND filter from K and F or from Freewell's previous lineup for like 100 bucks, even less. And yes, you're gonna see some color shift, but uh, it's something you can easily fix it in post. I actually don't also mind using the old filters. I mean, yeah, it has a little bit of a color shift. However, it's just like one or two clicks in post and you're gonna be able to fix it. I guess it does save you a little bit of time if you have true color ND filters and you don't need to do any of those fixes. Yeah, it probably saves you a couple of minutes in your life overall, so very nice. And third is the fact that you can use multiple filters at once. So when you have the variable ND filter, you can also put in the snow mist filter. You don't need to do anything. You just need to open up the K2 island. <laughs> Everyone's trying to copy Apple, aren't they? And you just put in the filter, the snow mist filter or whichever you choose and that's it, you're good to go. So let's talk about the effects filters. Freewell sent me three effects filters, the snow mist filter, the golden streak filter, as well as the gradual neutral density filter. And I have mixed feelings about them. Let me explain. So snow mist filter 1.8 is amazing. I love that filter and it's by far my most favorite effects filter. It's basically like pro mist. It just blooms the highlights and softens up the image a little bit so it looks more film-like. The reason why I like it is because it's minimalistic, it doesn't give you any weird artifacts, it does what it's supposed to do, just blooms the highlights and makes the image more film-like. However, the same cannot be said for the other filters. The Golden Streak filter. What it does, it basically gives you this fake uh, golden anamorphic flare. I actually used it on the anamorphic lens as well to get both the blue and the orange flares, which was super interesting. But the reason why I don't like the Golden Streak filter because it's just overwhelming. <laughs> There's just so many streaks everywhere, it's too much. So uh, if you find the right angle, it looks dope. And especially for photography, it looks cool. It has this abstract vibe to it. So yeah, if you're filming music videos, this could be cool. If you're getting portrait shots, this could be cool. But if you're filming commercials like I am, I don't think I want this in my shot most of the times, you know? And it really sucks that you have to look for the right angle to, well, not have the flares completely everywhere. So yeah, as you've seen these examples, it's just a little bit too much, so I was using it for a couple of shots and then I was like, alright, probably never gonna use this filter again. <laughs> and the second is the gradual neutral density filter. The reason why I don't like it is because I don't know how to use it. For photography, I know that people will love this filter, but I'm not a photographer. But first of all, what is a gradual neutral density filter? It's basically like an ND filter, but it only blocks a certain point in your image. If you want to take a landscape shot and you see that, you know, that the skies are a little bit overexposed, you can just put in the gradual neutral density filter just a little bit so it basically blocks the light only from the skies. Does that make sense? I don't know if I made sense. I don't know how to use it. For some shots I tried using it, but the results were meh. For those who have used the gradual neutral density filter and know how to use them, this is a great filter for you. But if you're a beginner who thinks that you're gonna need this filter, probably not. So I would just skip this option. So overall, as I said, the price is $350 for the base package itself. And if you wanna get the filters, it costs additional money. I would recommend you to just get the base package and include the mist filter because the mist filter is the snow mist filter. It's absolutely amazing. I love it. But the rest, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Maybe Freewell needs to release like a version 2 where the, especially on the Golden Streak filter where it's just not so many flares. If you're doing this for a living, I think this is a really good investment. If you're a beginner, however, I would recommend just buying something cheaper like an KNF filter or even the old Freewell models because they're gonna do the job just fine. You don't need those magnets. You don't need that K2 island. Trust me, you don't. If you're a beginner or someone who does this for a hobby, just get a cheaper ND filter and it's gonna be good. Don't worry, it's gonna be good, I promise. That's why I just wanted to make this video is because this product is fantastic and I know that you guys are gonna enjoy it. Go grab it before it's the early bird price because afterwards I don't think this is worth $500 honestly. To prove you guys that I'm not just sugar talking, I'm not gonna put any affiliate links below. I just really think this is a fantastic uh, product from Freewell. Hopefully you guys had an amazing day and you know the drill. Peace out.